Hi! So I decided to do a few videos for beginners in ARCHICAD. Uh, I don't have all of the videos planned out yet, but they are basically gonna be just videos for people who are just starting out with ARCHICAD and just an introduction for them to the program. So this first video is gonna be an introduction to the interface. Uh, when you open a new ARCHICAD file, this is usually what you get. This is the template that ARCHICAD comes with. So this central area is your floor plan in ARCHICAD. And these um, four blue lines are elevations. Usually I just delete these when I start a new ARCHICAD file, but for now we're just going to leave them. I'll show you later why. Uh, down here you have some buttons that help you with navigation within the program. And uh, over here on the right, a few things that I'm not really going to talk about much now. But for the navigation, we see here uh, some of the zoom elements. So if we click here on this button here, this is the fit to window button. With this little button here, you can increase the zoom. So if you click it and then draw a rectangle, you're zoomed into the area that you defined with your mouse. With these buttons here, you go to previous or next zoom. But an even easier way to just do the zooming and moving around is with your mouse. So if you hold down your scroll button on your mouse, you can see the little hand appear and you can pan around in your floor plan. And also if you roll the scroll away from you, then you zoom in. If you roll out, then you zoom out. So this is pretty easy, simple way to move around in your floor plan in ARCHICAD. So a few other things that you can do from your bar down here is set the orientation. So if we click on this button here, you can just do one click and then another click on the plan and just rotate it. As you can see now I'm rotating it and the next click is going to be how my plan is going to set. So like this. But I'm not going to leave it like this. I just wanted to show you guys how you can rotate your floor plan. So I'm going to go here to orientation and just put it back to zero degrees. And right now we have it back as it was in the beginning. Okay, so from here you can also change the scale and stuff like that. Here you have some layer combinations and these are basically different ways of sh uh, viewing your model. So you can change the layer combination, you can change the structure display, the pen sets, and right now if you're a beginner you don't, you don't really know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna leave this and explain them more in detail in some of my next videos. Okay, so that was the little navigation bar on the bottom. If you look up here, we can see the menu bar. It has obviously a, a, a bunch of tabs, some of them you might recognize from different programs, so file, edit, view are pretty, you know, standard for editing software. The next of them are, you know, a bit more characteristic to ARCHICAD. I'm not gonna go into each tab and explain you what that is because that would take forever, but as you use the program you'll get more accustomed to it, but just know that this is your menu bar and when I say go to your menu bar, you should go up here. So right underneath the menu bar we have our toolbar. Uh, here we have a bunch of commands and functions that we are going to use a lot. Um, and you can actually customize this, so depending on how you work in ARCHICAD you can add or remove some of these commands and functions. How you can do that is by going to Window, Toolbars, and let's say I want to add the Mini Navigator you can see it popped up over here. Uh, if I want to just remove it, windows, palettes, uh, I'm sorry, toolbars, mini navigator. So for now I'm just gonna leave it as it came by default when I opened the new ARCHICAD file. Now right underneath the toolbar we have our info box. Uh, as the name says, this is a box that just shows you all of the information about anything you have selected in ARCHICAD. So let's say you select the wall, you go up here, you can change the settings. Uh, let's say you select a tool right here on the left, which I'm going to talk about the toolbox in a minute. 
uh, once you select it, you're going to be able to see here all of the information. An important aspect of the info box is that not all elements are visible uh, right now as we look at it. So if we want to see more information, we just have to use the scroll on our mouse. So if we scroll downwards, we can see uh, the info box is actually moving. So you can see more information like that. I know some users increase this so that they have two rows visible, so they don't have to scroll as much. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it comes by default with one single row. Another important thing to remember about the info box is that this first icon here opens the uh, settings dialog. So if you have any wall selected or any uh, other object or element selected, if you click here, it opens this settings dialog. So let me demonstrate something different than a wall right now in the toolbox. Okay, so let's talk about the toolbox first and then I'm going to come back to this little button here. The toolbox here on the left has three different tabs. So it has the design tab, the document tab, the more tab. Under design we have uh, tools like the wall tool, column tool. These are basically 3D elements, the architectural elements that you use to actually create your model. Under document we have more like 2D elements, so di the dimension tool, the text tool, fill tool and everything like that. Another thing that I probably should have mentioned in the beginning is that whenever you don't know what something is and you just hover over it, a little pop-up shows up that actually describes you the thing that you're hovering over. So over here it tells you each and everything what it is. So if I'm hovering over the beam tool, it tells me that it's the beam tool. If I'm hovering over here, it tells me that this is a different geometry method and stuff like that. So whenever you don't know what something is, just hover over it and ARCHICAD will tell you what it is. So under more we have a bunch of mixed up type of elements. That's why the tab is called more, I'm guessing, because it's not really one single kind of category. We have our spline over here, we have our grid element tool, we have our lamps. So this is just a mix that didn't fit in these previous two categories. Okay, so that is our toolbox on the left. Let me get back and demonstrate what I was talking about the info box. So right now we have our wall tool selected, and if we open the settings dialog, we can see the settings over here. If we close that and we select our object tool, we can see that the info box changed. So we have the information about our object tool. And if we want to see more information, we just go and click here on the settings dialog button and the settings dialog opens. And you can just see that this is where we have all of the information about anything that you have selected in ARCHICAD. So that is the toolbox on the left and remember whenever you select something over here the info box changes and up here you can change some settings without going in the settings dialog but sometimes you're going to have to go in the settings dialog and do some changes over here. Also another way to open the uh, settings dialog is to just double click on any element here on the toolbox and that also opens the settings dialog. So double clicking on the arc circle tool, it just opens the same thing as if you clicked over here. Okay, so over here on the right, we have our navigator. This is basically what you use to move around in your project. So between the floor plans, the 3D views, the layouts, this is what you're going to use to move around. Before I'm going to show you a bit more about this navigator, I want to first draw some walls in our floor plan just so that when we open our elevations we have something to look at so it's not just an empty project. So select your wall tool. I'm gonna leave all of the settings as they are. I'm not gonna meddle with it right now. And I'm just gonna draw four walls. So I'm just gonna do one click, the second, third, fourth, and fifth click and I'm just gonna close here. You can see that by doing that I just have some four random walls and the angles on are not really right. What I want to do is show you how you can do um, 90 degree angles in ARCHICAD. So I'm just gonna pan over here to the right. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So in order to draw straight elements, so by straight I mean at 90 degrees, 
I'm just gonna do one click and then as it is I can put my next point wherever I want. If I hold down the shift key on my keyboard you can see that it snaps to the zero degree angle. So I do one click then I go downwards without my shift key pressed down I can move wherever. If I hold down the shift key it goes straight down. If I want to go over here to the left you can see that some helping lines appear, so guidelines. So I can actually see that this point is right below this one. So I'm just gonna hold down the shift key, press over here, and to close it off, press over here. So this way we have a way nicer looking little rectangle than what we drew over here. But for now I'm just gonna delete this, and I'm gonna move over here, just so that we can have something to look at. Okay, so coming back to the navigator, we have three main tabs over here. Um, this is just the project chooser, which I'm not going to talk about much here. But these are the main three tabs of the navigator. So if you move between these, you have different things to look at. So the project map is where you have all of your floor plans, your sections, your elevations. So as I said in the beginning, these four blue lines are elevations and we can see four elevations under the elevations tab over here. So this is where we have our stories, sections, elevations, our 3D views. You also have here your schedules, project indexes and uh, a few other things that we're going to talk about later. So if you want to move to your east elevation, we can just double click it. And we can see two of the four walls that we drawn out in our floor plan. So if you go to the ground floor, we can see that this on the right is the east elevation. And what we're seeing are these two walls. So if I open again, two walls. If we go to our generic perspective view, we can see the four walls that we drew in a perspective. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Generic axonometry, we get an axonometric view of our model. Uh, the way you move around in your 3D view is similar to how you move around in your 2D view. So if you hold down the scroll button, you pan. If you scroll uh, away from you with your mouse, you zoom in. If you scroll towards you, you zoom out. So that is how you move in your 3D model. Also another thing to remember when you hold down the shift key in your 3D view and then you hold down the scroll button, you can actually orbit. You can do the same thing just by clicking the orbit button here and then you can just orbit by clicking on your left button of your mouse but I usually never use this. I just press down the shift key and orbit like that. Okay another way of looking at your 3D model is by clicking on this little man right here which is the explore option. If you click it usually um, window appears which explains to you how you can navigate through ARCHICAD but I actually disabled that I didn't want to always see that whenever I clicked on the explore option but if you read through those indications there you can see that you can move around in your model basically like in a 3D game so if uh, from the arrows on your keyboard you can go forward back forward left and right and just by moving your mouse you can do the same thing and if you do both at the same time so your mouse and your keyboard you can just move around a bit more easily so if you've ever played the video game this is gonna be pretty easy for you to move around in your 3D model okay so this is the project map let's go back to our ground floor the next tab over here on the navigator is the view map. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, but basically what this is, is different way of seeing the same things that you see over here in the uh, project map. So you can have a bunch of instances of your ground floor, but you can see it either as a simple ground floor, you can do another instance where you see the ceiling plan, you can do another instance where you see only your electrical plans and stuff like that. So in the view map you see your model in a bunch of different ways. 
hopefully that's not too confusing but that's the main idea that in the view map you you have different ways of viewing your project whereas in the project map you have one ground floor one east elevation in the view map you can have a bunch of ground floors because there's they are actually different ways of viewing viewing that same ground floor hopefully that's not too confusing so let's move on to your to our layout book the last tab on our navigator these are basically all of your sheets that you're gonna have in archicad uh, these are different let's just open let's say this one so we can see here that we have an a2 landscape page where we can just I'm going to show you later how, but basically you're going to go in your uh, project map or in your view map and you're going to place the whatever drawings you have on the pages here. And then you're just going to have your project ready to publish from ARCHICAD. Ready to save, ready to print, whatever you're going to want to do. So, yeah, that is basically the introduction to the interface of ARCHICAD. Hopefully this was useful to you and... I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!